How long have you been coughing for? Well, it looks like it's just the common cold. It's probably because you've been exhausted from overworking lately. <laughs> you never notice how tired you are when you're busy. You should get some rest over the next few days. I'll prescribe you some medicine. Zane! I hope you're having a good evening so far. Here's the prescription. Take it to the pharmacy downstairs and they'll give you the medicine. The hospital check-in just so happens to be down there too. Your breathing sounds abnormal, so you'd better check in just to be safe. Well, it's up to you. Since you're experiencing abnormal breathing, You'll need to go for a radiograph and a pulmonary function test. As such, I suggest that you check in tonight. Yeah, I agree. It's better to be safe than sorry. This is just my suggestion. In the end, it's all up to you. Get in. I'm sending you home. Grayson has already told you everything that needed to be said. Get some rest over the next few days. Don't forget to drink more hot water. It'll help with your cough. When people get mad, their bodies secrete catecholamines. Catecholamines affect one's cardiovascular system, metabolism, and internal organs. In short, I won't get mad easily. Forget it. There's a big difference in temperature between day and night in Lincoln City. Remember to take a cab when you get home at night so that you won't catch a cold. Are you sure? You were going to walk back had I not been waiting for you at the entrance, weren't you? Go on in.
Look at you. You're in pretty good shape after just a few days. Have you recovered from your cold? I'm afraid you'll have to talk to Dr. Zane for that. Don't worry, even if he's not happy, he won't joke around when it comes to your work. After all, Dr. Zane is a doctor. Come in. Your company has already emailed me your health certificate. Can you read the second to last line of the health certificate aloud? Says the one who refused to be hospitalized, snuck out, and tried to walk home despite being likely to catch a cold. You need a doctor to sign it. So what do you think I should do? Lie? I'm just doing my job as a doctor. The last line where it says, promises to not disobey the doctor's orders. Huh. Now that's another line I'm not signing for you. You should go and find another doctor. I have a meeting soon. Why are you still here? Nah, uh, there's no way you can annoy Dr. Zane. Let me check it out. And then? That's all... <laughs> that's all it takes to make Dr. Zane mad? He usually doesn't say anything even when patients refuse to cooperate with their treatment. Dr. Zane has always been focused on doing his job well. I've never seen him care about anything else. There's no way he'll make things difficult for you. It's okay. He doesn't need that. Got it. Ignoring you has never crossed his mind. You should know that very well. <laughs> that he can't ignore you, even if he wants to.